Good morning, buenos dias from Valencia, Spain. And today I'm gonna to be taking you guys around with me as I explore Spain's third largest city. I am so excited to explore Valencia. It's a city with so much to offer with beautiful narrow streets, modern architecture, and delicious eats. So let's get started. So to start off the day, we are walking around here in downtown Valencia and there are so many beautiful narrow streets, so many colors, a lot of nice plazas and churches. So let me show you guys around. We have made it into the central market here and there is tons going on. Tons of delicious foods, meats, local treats. So we are gonna roam around and explore the market. I'm here at a little stall in the market and I'm gonna try to get some empanadas. Um, which is a staple here in Spain. All right, so in the market, I got myself a couple empanadas. I got two different empanadas here, and we are going to try them out. I think this one should be sausage and tomato, which is a classic empanada flavor here in Spain. Pretty good. And then the second empanada I got is filled with chicken and potatoes. Also really, really delicious. And each of these empanadas costs 90 cents euros. So about one US dollar or so. The empanadas are finished. They were delicious. And right next door to the market, is a church and we are climbing up the many many winding stairs to get to the top for a view Ooh, so that was really cool. We ended up going up the Santa Catalina Martir Church and if you're here in Valencia, I'd highly recommend it. You get some really, really great views from the top. So we have made it here to Plaza de la Virgen, which is one of the main plazas here in Valencia. It's surrounded by a beautiful fountain, tons of churches, beautiful architectural buildings, and of course you have your cafes with people just sipping their cafe con leche and enjoying people watching. So we're gonna roam around here a little bit and just enjoy the atmosphere. horchata and unlike in Mexico the horchata here in Valencia is made from chufas which are tiger nuts which are originally from Egypt but are now grown in parts of Spain as well and it's a famous Valencian drink here wow really really sweet kind of tastes a little bit like sweet milk but interesting a tiny bit chalky too but it's pretty good so we have gotten a couple bikes here and we are in the biggest park here in Valencia and one of the biggest in Spain called Jardín del Turia or Turia Park and we are just going to bike around and explore this beautiful massive park. We can already see so many different trees and it's right next to the city center but it feels like this calm tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of downtown Valencia. So 
so in parts of the park here you have these nice sandy little roads that go through the park you can bike walk run under the trees and it's a really nice escape from the city and there's so many nice trees and gardens inside this park really really cool So we have now biked to the Rusafa neighborhood, which years ago was known to be a little dodgy and a little unsafe, but has now been transformed into a really unique area within the city. There are tons of beautiful buildings with unique architecture, vintage clothing stores, and hipster cafes. So we are gonna roam around and explore the area. It was so much fun exploring the Rusafa neighborhood. It's one of my favorite areas here in Valencia and is an absolute must when you come and visit. There's such a unique mix of beautiful architecture and colorful buildings, but then you have your laid back hipster atmosphere with your cool cafes, vintage shops, etc. Good morning, it is another day here in Valencia. And to start off the morning, we are having a traditional Spanish breakfast, or at least my traditional Spanish breakfast with a napolitana, which is kind of like a chocolate croissant. And then we also have a cafe con leche, so a coffee with milk. So we are going to enjoy breakfast, and then we have a great day of exploration planned here in Valencia. I have made it here to the City of Arts and Sciences, which is a really special area here in downtown Valencia. It's full of modern architecture and a really unique design. There's an aquarium here, a science museum, and a center for performing arts, and so much more. So we're gonna walk around and explore this incredible area inside Valencia. Inside the science museum it costs eight euros or around nine to ten US dollars and it's really cool there's three floors tons and tons of interactive exhibits so I'm just gonna roam around and learn about some science I just finished up walking through the science museum and I'm not a big museum person but it was pretty cool and especially with all the interactive exhibits if you're into interactive exhibits I definitely recommend checking it out that blue building right behind me is actually the aquarium it's right next to the science museum and it's supposed to be one of the best aquariums in the entire world unfortunately I am not gonna visit because I prefer to see the sea life underwater scuba diving or snorkeling but if you are interested in visiting the aquarium just know that this is supposed to be one of the best On the other side of the science museum is a building known as the Hemisphere right behind me and inside the Hemisphere is a huge cinema and a planetarium. I believe it also costs 8 euros to enter like the science museum, but if you want to enter more than one building you can get a discounted rate. Right above all the museums and the beautiful pools of water, you have this little garden walkway oasis with tons of incredible trees, birds chirping, and just a really nice escape from the museums on one side and the hectic city on the other. Overall, the City of Arts and Sciences here in Valencia is an absolute must. It's such a cool place, really unique, very different than other parts of the city. Such cool architecture. So if you're here in Valencia, definitely check it out. We 
are now in an area called Port Supplia, which is right next to the ocean, north of the city center here in Valencia. And it is a beautiful area with tons of little canals, tons of beautiful, colorful buildings. And this area is actually nicknamed Little Venice because of the way it looks. So we are just gonna roam around here and explore the area. really nice and peaceful just walking around Port Supplia and you have the canals and the marina all around and then right behind me in the distance is the ocean with palm trees, sand, so a really really nice area to come and hang out for a little bit in Valencia and also there are tons of restaurants, a lot of Italian restaurants as well scattered around the area. Right behind me are the colorful buildings and the canals of Port Supplia, and then just steps away you are here on the beach. The sun has just set so I'm going to end the vlog here for today, but I hope you guys enjoyed exploring Valencia, Spain with me. I absolutely loved exploring this city. If you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button and of course if you're not already, subscribe down below for weekly travel vlogs and I will see you guys next week.